rear-facing mode with seat belt. To start, make sure the seat is in the rear-facing position as indicated on the side of the car seat. Then, pop out the cup holders on either side. This will reveal the belt path. Unbutton the cushion fabric and move it to reveal the true tension door. It will be labeled in blue for rear-facing installation. Pull the seatbelt out and make sure that there are no twists. Thread it through the belt path until you have enough slack to buckle it. Then you'll need to make sure that there is no slack in the remainder of the belt. Pull the belt tight from above its position in the true tension door and continue tightening all the way up the belt path. Close the true tension door. You will hear it click shut. Make sure to lock off the seat belt. And replace the seat fabric. Check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Make sure to pop out the side protection pod on the side of the car seat next to the door. Rear facing mode with latch. To start, once again make sure the seat is in the rear facing position as indicated on the side of the car seat. Then, make sure the cup holders on either side are popped up. Unbutton the cushion fabric and move it to reveal the true tension door. Remove the latches from their compartment below the seat. Thread them through the rear-facing belt path, making sure there are no twists. Attach the latches to the lower seat anchors. Tighten the latches. Close the true tension door and replace the seat fabric. Finally, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Forward facing mode with seat belt. To begin, make sure that the seat is in the forward facing position as indicated on the side of the car seat. Then, unclip the back tether and pull it through the headrest of the vehicle's seat. Attach it to the back anchor, but do not tighten. Unbutton the seat fabric again and you will see the forward facing true tension door labeled in red. Pull the seatbelt out and thread it through and out the other side, making sure to buckle the belt. Pull out all the slack from above the true tension door and close the door. Make sure to lock off the seatbelt. Replace the seat fabric. Next, tighten the back tether. Finally, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Make sure to pop out the side protection pod on the side of the car seat next to the door. Forward facing mode with latch. To begin, once again, make sure that the seat is in the forward facing position as indicated on the side of the car seat. Then, unclip the back tether and pull it through the headrest of the vehicle seat. Attach it to the back anchor, but do not tighten. Remove the latches from their compartment below the seat. Then open the forward facing true tension door and thread them through the belt path, making sure there are no twists. Attach the latches to the lower anchors. Tighten the latches. Close the true tension door and replace the seat fabric. Next, tighten the back tether. Finally, check for stability. The car seat should not move more than an inch from the seat. Make sure to pop out the side protection pod on the side of the car seat next to the door. A tip for uninstalling the new Naraba is to make sure to unbuckle the seatbelt or detach the latches first. Underneath the true tension door is a lot of built up tension and it will be hard to open if you don't unbuckle first thing.